It's not your typical Grand Prix, but it still has plenty of drama. These students are competing in an endurance race with remote controlled cars. We're able to take pit stops and the idea is to take a pit stop every like 25 minutes so we can change our hydrogen cells which keeps the battery charged. 20 high school teams are in the program and built the hydrogen fueled cell cars. Go Sharks! When we get the car everything is pulled apart and it's our job to put it back together and actually get it running. A ruler was put in, as you can see here. This was put in to um, stabilise the car because it was very flexible. Um, these tyres were added to help with grip on carpet. Queensland's interim chief scientist says it's teaching the students practical skills. They're bringing together chemistry, uh, mathematics, physics, uh, data science as well, and thinking about how do you keep a, a car going with the right amount of energy uh, making sure it's robust enough that it can uh, tolerate all the crashes. This is Australian first year with 20 teams, so, so actually the racetrack is full. The capacity of the racetrack is about 20 cars because then it, it's really full. Teams are fixing cars and replacing hydrogen batteries in this makeshift pit lane. The industry is using events like this to attract students towards a future career in hydrogen. It's an opportunity for the next generation um, to sort of take hold you know, utilise and, and get passionate about some of those STEM skills that will be required you know, as we transition. The World Finals will be held in Las Vegas in September. Jasmine Hines, ABC News, Gladstone.